Lightburn's tool layers are special layers that have no cut parameters and will never be sent to your laser. These unique characteristics make them the perfect aid for a number of projects. Some of their uses include describing the boundary of your material, creating guidelines for aligning shapes, applying text to a path without the path being output, and applying a mask to an image. In this video, we'll show you how to use them to squeeze the most out of your material, maximizing output and minimizing waste. The tool layers are located at the far right of the color palette and are labeled T1 and T2. To create a tool layer, click on either of the tool layer swatches and then draw a line or place a shape in your workspace. If you already have objects in your workspace that you want to assign to a tool layer, first select them and then click one of the tool layers. In this example, we'll use a design of a simple garden sign that we want to cut out of plywood so that we can easily label plants in the garden. We'll start by grabbing a ruler and taking measurements of the material we plan to cut these out of. Once we have our length and width, we'll select the rectangle tool, then click and drag in the workspace to place a rectangle. Up in the numeric edits toolbar, we need to enter the measurements we just took to make sure our rectangle is the exact size of our material. Then click on one of the tool layers to place the rectangle on that layer. Now that we have this, we know that anything placed within the bounds of the rectangle will fit on our material. Using this and the grid array tool that we covered in a recent video, lets us know we can fit 22 of our signs onto one piece of material in its current orientation, with some leftover space on the bottom. Instead of letting that area go to waste, for this application, we'll use a combination of rotating and resizing of our sign so that it fits into that area, giving us an additional nine. If we click the monitor icon in the top toolbar to open the preview window, we see the output that'll be sent to our laser. You'll notice that the tool layer isn't present, since it's meant to be a representation we can use in our design, but not output. All that's left is to send the job to our laser. And just like that, we have 27 little signs ready to be labeled and placed, with only a small amount of material remaining. Now you know how to use tool layers to ensure you're using your material efficiently. Stay tuned for more examples of using the tool layers, and be sure to like and subscribe for more great videos on mastering Lightburn.